Hi guys, The New Mutants, just got released after three years of wait. The movie was pitched under superhero horror genre and promised to give us fresh teenage perspective on mutant. So, is The New Mutants a good superhero horror movie or just a boring movie? Let us look at what worked and what did not. First, a quick background of the story is understood from the trailer. The hit franchise X-Men moved forward with a spin-off The New Mutants. Interestingly, amidst coronavirus pandemic, it got released in limited theaters in the United States of America, and not on the ODT platform. The New Mutants is a movie about five teenagers, all of them a stereotype that you must have seen in hundreds of movies, for example, the shy girl, the outcast, the rebel, the sexy and the traumatized, that try to survive an evil experiment of a big corporation in a secret facility. A boring attempt to bring a sense of reality and sensitivity to issues like abuse, mental health, self-doubt, and other challenges that many encounter in their teen years. These trappings in the movie are simply there to add spice, but did not seem well integrated into the narrative or story. In the facility, Danny is introduced to four other young teenagers, that is Sam, Eliana, Roberto and Rain Sinclair. Dr. Reyes has brought each of them to the hospital after they have all suffered tragedy all of them are manifesting mutant abilities. Zelayana is a Russian mutant whose powers allow her to teleport through discs she creates. Rain is a Scottish mutant with the ability to transform into a wolf or the in-between form of a werewolf. Danny is a Native American mutant. Her psychic abilities allow her to create illusions manifested from people's fears or desires. Sam, is raised in a family of Kentucky coal miners, since mutant abilities allow him to manifest energy that lets him fly as fast as a rocket. The energy also lends itself to a shield that makes him virtually indestructible. Roberto is a Brazilian mutant with the ability to harness solar energy and use it for strength. Dr. Reyes herself is a powerful mutant who keeps her patients from leaving the facility by surrounding it with unbreakable force fields collectively. The film hasn't got a favorable response from the audience and critics. The total business of the new mutants so far in the USA is $7.5 million approximately, as per box office mojo. So guys, what did not work for the movie is as follows. Firstly, this movie is very slow like some web series. Ideally, it is good time to know the characters but because of the poor direction, one does not feel for the characters at all. Secondly, acting by all the characters especially the main lead were average so, while I understood them but could not connect with them emotionally. Thirdly, the climax leaves you empty a new kid, loses control over her powers and suddenly the movie ends. Fourthly, visually it is a bad film as we have seen better VFX in many Hollywood films now. It lacks the luster of a big scale movie. Lastly, the new mutants failed on the promise of horror. There is not even a single scary scene. So guys, let me summarize the movie review for you. What do you get, if you start with Stranger Things, add a dash of superhero stuff in 80s style, ignore character development and add poor writing, acting, direction and VFX? You will get a sorry film from Marvel, called The New Mutants. Guys, you can skip this movie for sure. If you want to see a good superhero horror movie then see Brightburn or Chronicle. So, see you guys soon with another exciting review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel Movie Shuvi. Take care.